as I say, surf boats first up, and it's the under-23 gold medal to be decided. Scarborough, Palm Beach, Woolamai, Austin Mere, Alexandra Headland, and Collaroy all represented. So six in this final. They start and finish in the water, and we're underway. First gold medal to be decided today. The surf boats, it is still water rowing today. Just all effort, out and back in. And straight away picking up the rating. Collaroy closest to camera. Next to them, Alexandra Headland. Austin Mir in alley number four. Very strong crew indeed. Woolamai in three. Palm Beach in two. Scarborough Beach at the top of screen in alley number one. And it's a great go early. This Alexandra Headland crew, they're pretty confident coming into it. Austin Mir won one of the semis. Collaroy won the other. Shortly we'll have the women's and the men's surf boat open final for you. But right now, right in the centre, alley number four and alley five, Alexandra Headland and Austin Mir Blue showing the way. The white boat of Austin Mir just poking the bow in front. Sweep working them hard. Austin Mir have been a strong crew for a long time in open company. And the next generation coming through in the under 23s. Definitely alley number four in front. And just behind them, Alexandra Headland and Woolamai. Collaroy probably in fourth position at the moment, now up to third. So it's the boats at the northern end of the beach. Austin Mir, Alexandra, Headland and Collaroy. No wave to negotiate. Sweep, it's pretty much an easy job for them, just controlling the rating. Back in fourth position is the Palm Beach crew in fifth at the moment, Woolamai. And in sixth position, it's out of Alley 1, Scarborough, the local boys. So plenty of encouragement for them to kick off the program today. Up to the can and now the turn. This is where valuable seconds are made or, or lost. And Austin Mir still in front of Alexandra Headland and Collaroy. Austin Mir, three in from the left of screen on that shot. It has really opened up the top three and the next three. And Austin Mir and Alexandra Headland side by side. The sweep won't let his crew have a look over to the side. He'll just control them, want the big row back in. I don't think the swell's going to have any bearing on this. Nothing more than the smallest of runners coming back in. And now Alexandra Headland picking up the rating. They're making their move. The crew of Palu, Dean, Mason and Kush. They're picking it up. They're throwing down the challenge to Austin Mir right now. So it could be a Queensland victory to kick off our second show. Queensland crews and competitors dominated our first week at the national championships. And here Alexandra Headland have made their move on Austin Mir. I don't think Woolamai or Scarborough or Palm Beach are going to figure in the finish. And the margin now is about a third of a boat length for Alexandra Headland. They've left Collaroy behind on left of screen. Clear advantage for Alexandra Headland. Austin Mir throwing back right now on the run home. So they're right alongside each other. The yellow caps of Alexandra Headland, the white of Austin Mir. The margin is now about half a boat length. Alexandra Headland in front and headed for the gold medal. There's no swell coming through. Just the smallest of runners if that. The sweep knows it. They're going to hit the line first. The margin is only small, but it's going to be enough for a gold medal. Alexandra Headland have got it. And the under 23 surf boats, their supporters sprint down from everywhere. Every victory is sweet at the Nationals, but the surf boat boys, they celebrate like no one else. Great win to Alexandra Headland. They did it in the second half of the race. And second home, Austin Mir. And third home, Collaroy, Wallamai, Scarborough and Palm Beach. Round out the top six. Guy Leach is working the sand. Let's go down to Guy with our winners. Alexandra Headland. Steve, you must be proud, mate. You've created history with the boys here. Uh, first Australian title for the 23s. Mate, I could not be happier. They just rode so hard. It was absolutely brilliant. Textbook rowing. Tell me this, over the four days, conditions changed dramatically from the first few rounds. 
to get through those ones and get here to the final must have been a big thing. But it was. It was very testing. This is the fourth wind direction change with that in four days, and it's uh, it's been very, very good. Though I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled, as you can imagine. Well done, fellas. The first gold medal decided on our show today.